blessed day, my beloved brethren in Christ. Our devotion for today can be found in Revelation chapter 19, verses 4 to 5, which says, And the twenty-four elders and the four living creatures fell down and worshipped God, who sits on the throne, saying, Amen. Hallelujah. And the voice came from the throne, saying, Give praise to our God, all you his bond servants, you who fear him, the small and the great. Now, chapter 19 of Revelation is a scene where the final celebration of God's victory takes place before his presence in the company of the heavenly hosts. A great multitude in heaven praises God for his righteousness, judgments, rejoicing over the downfall of the corrupt city, Babylon. In these verses, we notice the 24 elders and the four living creatures fall down and worship God seated on the throne. So, who are these 24 elders? Nowhere in the book of Revelation specifically identifies who the 24 elders are. But in Revelation 4, the 24 elders were described as having 24 thrones, wearing dress of white, and had crowns of gold on their heads. They are most likely representative of the church, which represents the raptured church, and not angels as crowns are not promised to angels, nor angels wear them. Together with them are the four living creatures. These four living creatures are actual beings of exalted order of angelic beings or cherubim. Also in Revelation 4, they are described as living creatures. Each of them has six wings and they are full of eyes all around. The first living creature is like a lion. The second living creature is like an ox. The third living creature with the face of a man and the fourth living creature like an eagle in flight. Now day and night, they never cease to say, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty who was and is and is to come. Now in verse 5, a voice come from the throne encourages all that is in heaven to praise God, all his bond servants, all who fear him, the small and the great. Now, as I come to reflect in this heavenly setting, I just can't help but be amazed that the only work everyone will be doing in heaven is just to praise God. All celestial beings, angels, and the redeemed will bow down and worship before Jesus, who is seated on this throne forever. Are you excited to be a part of this? I am. In fact, I can't wait to be part of the multitude saying, Amen! Hallelujah! So as we await this moment to celebrate Jesus in heaven, I encourage you, church, to practice praising and worshiping Jesus in everything that we do. Let us make it a point that we live a lifestyle of worship, that in everything, may we seek to glorify Jesus, for He is the one who is holy, the Lord God Almighty, the one who was and is and is to come. He is worthy to receive power and wealth, and wisdom and might, and honor and glory and blessing forever and ever. 